I went, my ears, my ears were closed then. I didn't hear none of that. Good morning. So, what's going on here then, Tom? Well, it's an open day, isn't it? Loads of bargains. All right. Loads of zip necks hoodies and stuff like that. Reels at half price. Nice. Just need loads of people now. Just need loads of people, yeah. Get on down here, try yeah. some of these rods out for yourselves before you buy them, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just done a pendulum cast, and it was all right. Okay. I've got away with and that. And the, the reel came back in one piece. Yeah. You, you, you didn't do a pendulum cast, it's not on film. <laughs> well, I might do one later. <laughs> it went all right. I was frightened to hit it, to be honest yeah. with you. I hope it blew up. If it does, it does. Don't yeah, worry it about it. It was all right. They, them two blokes went that. So I went, I oh, know. Good at it, no. Hey, go Benjamin Gars for a year. You got, no. the, you got the rod. You don't need the effort yeah. there. Yeah. Does it for I you? Come, I chop it. Yeah, you, know, you got to get down for there. Yeah. And I chop it a bit. But it went all right. Yeah, all right. I was, wasn't going to criticise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the team's on it. They thought it was brilliant. That's good enough. That's, that's all that matters. <laughs> so there's quite a range of rods you got here, isn't there? Yeah, I've got the new endurance here. You might want to have a look at this. Uh, now, what did I do with it? Nobody's got this. They're not out till middle October. Right. <laughs> we had two or three in the shop. Right. Cracking rod. No one's seen it, anything. And it's going to come out on about the 12th of October. The old endurance was okay, it was white. Yeah. This has been totally revamped. It's lighter. Okay. It's got K rings in it. Nice and it's got two tips. Box. Okay. So it's very nice. That's for the summer, really. Light fishing. Yeah. And then you've got the heavier tip. I think they're around about 300 and something. Today, this one's up for sale for 299. All right, okay. Stupid price. Um, because you've got one in, it's uh, slightly damaged. It's, really. it's, a, it's a prototype. That's yeah, nice, light rod, isn't it? Lovely light rod. Um, so that's the, that's the Akios Tiger Rod. Endurance, yeah? Endurance, the new one. Yeah. Endurance Pro Max, it's called. Cool. Okay. I like this. Yeah. Nice little finish. I like the nice grippy thing either side of the joint, so you, when your hands are cold yeah, and wet. Yeah, we've got today, we'd, we've had a bit of issues with the Dreamcast because we had a few problems with it, but we've ironed them out now, right. and it's made everything take a lot longer, I'm afraid. Yeah. But I've just got the graphics through now. I'm finally finished. I don't know if you can see that, whether you want to go in the dark a little bit. But that's the graphics of the Dreamcast. It's really nice. Not going to be all leery. You've got white with a small red edge, and then on the end here, the four, we've put, done that in yellow. Right. And it will be a similar, we're, we're thinking now of this, on the bottom, similar to this. So that carbon weave. Yeah, yeah. lovely carbon weave. Not too leery. Yeah. And uh, we're hoping now, unfortunately it's all delayed, I'm sorry for the people who give us 50 quid deposits, but yeah. it's going to be worth it when it comes, and I think it's going to be about sort of mid-November now. Right. Okay. But it's, it's, it's got the go ahead now. Yeah. We wanted to make sure it's right. And it's better to have it right than not, isn't it? No, so, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the new Dreamcast 4. Two right. tips, right. 15 foot 4. 15 foot 4? Yep. Right. And believe me, it casts a long way. You know? yeah. And it's going to be around about 450, I believe. Yeah. All right. Two tips. Cool. Which sounds a lot of money, but it's a hell of a lot of a rock, you know? Yeah. Especially um, with the two tips. Yeah, there's quite, it's a shame. We, we wanted more people to come down today, but it's early yet. Yeah. But there's some cracking stuff here I've got for sale, second hand. SS10 there, look, they're about 240, that's going at 150. Yeah. Some right bargains today. And I think we advertise it quite well, but you never know who's going to come, do you? No. Well, I mean, did you have a, a little pulse of rain here? Did you have a pull yeah. of rain, you see? But... Yeah, I didn't panic because I was asleep. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> it didn't rain here. All right, now we had a thunderstorm. We see. I think people are scared to come to these dudes because yeah. they think they've got a cast. Yeah. You know, when we did the angling club, it wasn't that busy, was it? No. And I think what it is, they think they've got to go and cast. Yeah. yeah. But it's to watch people casting yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. I think people get a bit shy sometimes, yeah. you know. Well, I mean, there's free lessons from Brian as well, which is always worth having. That's what I mean. It's all it's a good day, really. Every single this is the star of the show, obviously, no but they'll all be gone. I've sold about 15 <laughs> today online uh, this week. Somebody else told me if you've ever seen uh, four boats out there, just off the end of the field. 140 right, quid reel. Right. We're doing two for 125. Right. Or we're doing one of them for 65 quid. Okay. It was a light, cracking yeah. reel. 
we just that's the echo I've got over 50 and they're, they're going <laughs> really fast yeah. just sold four this morning here yeah, yeah. nice bit of kit the mm. running very light mm. come down and try Ziplex M4 GT and then put your orders in with Tony up yeah this. you will love it mm. cracking rod I like my M4 GT <laughs> cut the fire blades yeah, up there for a guy coming in a minute oh, put, we put fire blades in the corner over there um, right. someone wanted to try one then but we can't because he's bought them <laughs> but we'll probably come down and go, yeah, you can have a go. Simple, isn't it? By the way, you filmed me when I come last, last yeah, week, or, well, the last one to weigh in, and you didn't come the other night and had a 46 centimetre ray and a great big sole. And where was you? Not there. <laughs> I didn't win, though. Yeah, Joe, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't have Plumstead, had those fish if I'd been there, Tony. Joe Plumstead won it on peg one. <laughs> yeah. Annihilate is everyone. Yeah. Great yeah. performance. I saw the, I saw the pictures. 500 points. Yeah, I, I thought I'd won when I left the yeah. beach. Yeah. And, uh, I think I come third, I think, yeah. something like that. Fourth, fourth, fourth. I thought I won. Yeah. Didn't we? We yeah. beat everyone in my area, but up on the low numbers, they annihilated it. So did you, did you take a fiver off Jay? No, I didn't. No, I didn't fish. He didn't fish. He bottled out, and yet he took a fiver off me the other day. Again. <laughs> when I wasn't looking. Again. So that's, that's the jinx. It's the jinx of Jay, mate. It is. It's the jinx it's of Jay. It's not, it's not the camera. It's the camera and Jay. I've been lucky. I've been Jay. by one centimetre. <laughs> There is a little bit of a difference, so I go to work. No, that's a good knot, Jay. No, I'm wrong with the knot, eh? It was lying. Must be doing something wrong because I've, I've got yeah. one there. Fantastic, it's the best one I've had. Why not? I've used it. Yeah, you just put it on the camera. Why not? Yeah, yeah. You videoed that. Steve, I did yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Jay, Jay's teaching how to, uh, to, <laughs> to, to make knots that snap. <laughs> no, it was the line that snapped, not the knot. You can't see the little tiny. No, I haven't. So what, what knot is this you're tying here, Jay? An Albright. I've, I've started using the, the improved Albright, which is exactly the same knot, but you go back through the loop three or four times at the end. And it just stopped because sometimes it all bright slips. Yeah. Particularly if you've got a waxy line. Yeah, it's hard when you do braid to uh, Yeah, braid to mono. But if you if you go when you get back up to the top, go go round through the loop, go which so it goes round round the main line. So go through the loop and around the round the loop in the main line a couple of times. No, you, yeah. So like you've done that once, do it three or four times, and it never slips. It's a much better knot. <laughs> yeah. So, so you don't go round the whole thing. You just go round. Which way's the line going? So you just go through and around, through and around. So you've gone round the main line a couple of times. I tell you what. I, I had lots of problems with, with I had some very waxy braid and uh, I just couldn't get it to work, it just pulled out every time. I couldn't have cut into my hands, so that's alright. Yeah. <laughs> could have been touched. But it's not going to have, it's got an ash on it, it's got part of it. But these are 150 of them. Today, these are 135 of this is, this is absolutely bomb. Oh, the wrong yeah. bit. That could have been, been fatal. Done that before and all. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think you, yeah. Well, it's just I think it's you. I mean, do you know what? What, these guys have a few of them. That's all right. Yeah. 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 That's in the old September run of Codling now. Yeah. 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 I see, yeah. Yeah. I see the September yeah. run coming through. What's that for me? Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. What, all the way along here? They've yeah. been catching yeah. seafood all the night, way along here. Yeah. yeah. Coming in at night, yeah. 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 Don't mind being on, being on the Tony's Tackle Sea Match channel. Oh, yeah. That's all right. Cracking. 
So yeah, 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 I see that on the old picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 no. yeah. yeah. Have a look. It's on the low tide run, you see. Um, yeah, low tide. Low tide run uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. at night. Yeah. 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 Mind you, last night, one I had was probably about half tide. How old, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But not normally it's about yeah. so what is it, a flood tide? Or is it a yeah, flood tide? Yeah, yeah. So you have to wait for the low and then it's flooded, yeah? All right. I've gone a little bit. Nice one, lads. I'll see you fishing at some point. Yeah. All right. Cheers, mate. Ta da. Have a good one. And you. Tony's tackle, brilliant. Always a good look, mate. Oh, did you? Tony, have you got a clip in your pocket? Cheers. Do you know what? There's one on there. There's a fifth on the tackle. That's a good one. Right, okay. Name on it. Started fishing. Yeah. Right. 30 year break. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Bought, uh, bought one of them off Tony. Um, which is good. Got some rods, some shelters, everything. Right. I've build everything up. Yeah. So, I uh, thought I'd come down today. So, I drove down from South End. South End. South End. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. You go, See what's about. Buy a few bits and pieces. Day. Speak to Brian. Get yeah. some lessons in. Yeah. And then, uh, Hopefully, come down and do some matches down here and just watch yeah. and look and learn. Yeah, so, I mean, we've had a little break in the filming, but I filmed one the other night and it, that's gone out this morning, so we will be filming. So we'll yeah. be on filming. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. yeah look forward to that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, watch all the, all the uh, YouTube videos. Learned a lot. Yeah. Learned how to tie knots. I feel as I was driving a Ford Anglia and now I'm driving a top of the range BMW. The way that things have changed over the years, it's, oh, God, it's yeah. a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. When I used to have like old Mitchell yeah. reels, uh, yeah. big fixed balls that are like. Yeah probably vintage now but yeah so trying yeah, to yeah. get all the gear back together so uh, learn yeah. from the experts yeah no absolutely i mean tony's the expert he's, he's he moans and groans a lot but he uh he, there's not much you don't know about match fishing especially on this coast yeah oh good yeah oh, well, i know yeah, but you need these stuart stuart nice to meet you stuart yeah thank you in uh, south end there's some good ray fishing at south end though isn't it yeah off canvey yeah there's a local shop there in there yeah he does a big boat uh competition every year run my pen yeah. Out of Wallasey Island, which yeah, is quite yeah. well known. Yeah. So yeah, he's he's helped me out and yeah. pointed me in the right direction. Oh, God. Oh. So Brian's giving a little casting lesson here, so let's go down and see what's going on here. Are you? Um, this is a, a new sport for me. Absolutely. Uh, well, the stance is the same. And it's all about it? off the hips, like throwing a good punch. Oh. Yeah, but I usually break things when I hit. <laughs> <laughs> so and I don't want to. So, bail arm off, lead, so we get a swing on it, and drop. Yeah. That's nice. Okay. That's nice. Arm away from that body, so you've got, you've got that body movement yeah. coming into it then. Because when you'll, you'll find, once you get really doing this, uh, you know, a few, few sort of practices, you'll find that right shoulder starts pushing in. Okay. And that's adding, you think how much power you've got in your yeah. right shoulder from what you've been doing in the past. Because okay. where you've got that arm fairly straight, yeah. that's almost a pivot. That's the, right. This is the one that's doing all the work. Okay. All right, let that one go. Well, that's, that's smacked the air. You could hear it hit the water, yeah? yeah I, I saw that. The water. Lovely. I felt a bit better that one. That's the thing. You can feel when it's right as well. Yeah. Um, it's just my finger is so like... Um, letting it go at the right time. That is one of those things that your experience I'll will, get, will sort I'll... it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, it's one of those strange things, that, you know, um, no, your best cast, you're not going to do every time. No. It's your best cast. There's a reason for that. Yeah. So it's, it's about casting within your physical limits as well. Because okay. if you're fishing all day, you don't want to get absolutely cream crackered right from the start. That's it. Drop that little bit. That's see that. See where that line's just pinged out. Well, just no, no, no. That's where I've done it deliberately to show you what happens. All right. um, where that line was was a little bit loose because I, I deliberately did that. Yeah. Right. That's him. So we take the bail arm off. So we tuck that lead in. That's nice. Half a step back. Just so you've got a nice right rod tip down, 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 down. That's lovely. That's it. That left hand's nice. Okay. 
Yeah. Well, that's added a couple of yards, hasn't it? It did, didn't it? <laughs> well done. Thank you. Well done. It's just a finger thing. Yeah. I think. Yeah. What you'll find, the as this is starting to bend more, yeah. you'll find more pressure on your finger from the okay. line itself. Now, t um, t the tackle shops, they do a uh, little finger stall, so a little bit of li single finger right. leather glove. Okay. And it just takes, it's, especially in the winter, yeah. if it's cold, your fingers start stinging a little yeah. bit after you've been okay. doing that a while. So it's, you know, they can be a useful little addition to, okay. your, to your kit. But the distance you're getting now, yeah. you, you'll catch fish. Yeah. You'll catch fish, absolutely you will. So what we're actually doing, I don't know where the name came from, but it's called the Brighton Cast. Really? So I'm assuming somebody from Brighton devised it, but oh, you never know. Right, so bail arm off. That's nice, that's it, that's lovely. It's a nice body shape. It's called the Brighton Cast, Bank. In Brighton? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Well, we got exactly that today, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. And that was your best one. Well, was, I did notice. Did you see how far that no, went? No, I didn't. I didn't. Absolutely straight as an arrow. Was it? And it added another five metres to the previous one, which was your best one. So, okay. absolutely brilliant. Well done. I can't believe um, what you've just shown me today and I really fucked up the whole day yesterday. Ah, oh, that's a shame, because I. it's nice, if you get a good experience first time out, you want to go back and repeat it. Yeah. You know, and if it goes wrong, so I'm glad we can, we can be here a day oh, to put that right for you. That's brilliant. Thank you so much. My friend. Thank you so much. Absolute pleasure. Cheers. That's what Thank I love, the, that's why I love doing what I do. How's your wedding going? <laughs> Did you want that? Put one out now. Don't you cast yet? <laughs> That's all I need. Hold on. Yeah, well, I'll film it anyway. Do you want to talk about what you're doing? I'll put a microphone on. I'm trying to pen them, Carl. Yeah, I'll put that on the microphone. What do I want to... Oh, do I get paid for it? Yeah. <laughs> no, um... I'm just going to do a little gentle one first. Yeah. Just to warm it up. Yeah. That's if the, that's if the reel's set right. I don't know how... I don't know how the reel's set up. Uh, it's just a warm up. Yeah, as if it went straight. Yeah, it went all right. The wheel's a bit naff, but there you go. Nice rod, these. We even got an air show. Bit of competition for the drone. Personally, as well, for you, I think 
slightly further up with that, but only oh, by right. about an inch or so. Yeah. But I don't want to do that as yeah. well today. So I think so I'm just going to. I know what that bloody thing's like. <laughs> oh, said that on camera. <laughs> yeah. That's a big thing with all the casts as well. Is yeah. is, you know, it's I can't tell you which drop's going to be the right one for you. No. That's you know, you get the get the technique going and then work on what drop works for you best. That's nice. So that rod tip nice and low. All the way down to the deck. That's lovely. That's nice with that uh, left nice and high. Yeah. We are talking fractions when, yeah. when we're on that release. I mean, so it is a touch, but. I've got um, the cannon. Yeah. I have it here. On the top. On the top. That's interesting. I've, that I've worked with a few people have it underneath and a few on the top. Yeah. And I don't have it on the top because it's more like a multiplier. Yeah. Um, yeah. It suited me as well yeah, when I tried yeah. one. That's quite um, quite an interesting thing. I mean, for anybody that is actually watching watching uh, this on, on channel, um, tr if you're using a Canon, try different, try it on the top, try it on the bottom yeah. and find out what works best for you. And, and you're absolutely right. If you're a multiplier angler and going to yeah. fix balls, then on the top is what you'd be more used to. I totally I agree with you. I suffer from white finger. Ah. So I've not got a lot of sensitivity yeah. in the tip, so I have to have it further down here. Which and that then causes you issues to, with the release. Yeah. Absolutely. And and you'll know that that release is, yeah. is key to getting any sort of distance at all. You know, the far running out like a bullet or it's up in the Yeah, end. up in either yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've, uh, I do actually, quite often I'll stand back and watch the trajectory of the lead. Yeah. And you can tell from that whether it's, it's spot on or not. Yeah. But you're on the reel and you know whether you've hit it right or not, yeah. don't you? Just as it, as it comes off, Pretty it's much, like, well, yeah. that's the one. Yeah. Excellent. Lovely. So yeah, the, um, the fire blade is very, very similar. Yeah. Very similar. So um, no, a, a lot of... Any, uh, um, any fish anywhere. Yeah. Fiction bait. After fishing with... I have a couple of cars with Steve, he's got a um, central tip tornado. I find it now that the any fish anywhere is quite heavy. That's one of the reasons I got this instead of one of yeah. those. Yeah, I, I searched around a lot of different rods yeah. before I did, and I'm in a lucky position I can try those rods as well, <laughs> yeah. which is a lot of what today's That's been about. Um, really, there's not many places you can actually go I mean, the, the one you're looking at. The big difference between something like this and that is that it's not got all the varnish on it. It's not got all the frills around yeah. it. You know, it's it's a but as a fishing tool, and I have I've used I've used a few of them. I think they cast really nice, really nice. I think you know if you do get one, I think you'd yeah. be I think you'd be very pleased. They don't have the weight of the uh, the any fish anywhere. No. Um, there is a, in fact, you could tell you, you know you could pick one of those up, one of the ones that have been sold. You know, and, and just feel the weight of it. It's yeah. different. It, it, Totally yeah. Feel if you ever do that, put a reel on it as well. Something yeah. similar to the weight you've, you're using. Yeah, these, nine, this uh, is quite a heavy one. I've got a K9000. Yeah. The, the oh, so that, yeah, this. <laughs> this is the. One more. <laughs> this, is the this is the 7000. I've got an 8 in the box. Yeah. It just didn't have a shock it's leader just on it. It's a little bit bigger. Yeah. Um, I've been. People have been losing shock leaders for me all morning. Wow. So. <laughs> No pressure. <laughs> That's nice. You've got an idea of what drop suits you. Yeah, I don't like it too short. It makes a difference as well. Yeah. If, you know, if you're comfortable with the drop. That's lovely. So tip right down low, even if you have to walk back a little bit into yeah. position, so keep that line tight. So tip down a little bit lower if you can. That's the one. That's yeah. a lovely straight arm. That's a better one, wasn't it? Yeah. I can hear that coming off your finger a bit further down because yeah, it's clipping it. Is, it. It's, it's coming off there and then clipping it a bit further yeah. up, isn't it? So yeah. yeah, I can fully understand why you're using a cannon. What you'll see if you watch the film, yeah. you'll see how much shoulder you're putting into that. Yeah. So rather than all muscle like that, yeah. and where your body's tied up as well, you're out further. Yeah. And you'll find where you're putting it across, you are pulling that whole shoulder blade in. And the more confident you get, that left hand will start 
con yeah. you need to consciously say that left hand's going to work and start pulling in right at the death yeah. and just give you that extra bit of oomph. But uh, there's some sweet cast there. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I thought I bought a load of reels with me this morning. I thought we'd give, give a few a workout. And, so, yeah. and that's what's happening. See, I mean, I don't blame the guy not wanting somebody else to cast his brand no, spangly new rod until he has. But for me, this is a tool of my yeah, business. That would have been a bit further if I hadn't hit the beach. <laughs> yeah, be a big old dent in the lead. Just consciously trying to go low with the rod tip. Because yeah. essentially, whatever cast you're doing, you want to be in that position, tip low, butt high, and you can get that proper, foot, yeah. that proper pull through with it. You look at that, that tip, that, that glass tip. Yeah. You know, it's uh, yeah. The bite detection's yeah. really good, and then you yeah. And a lot of the time, when you're casting, if the rod's too stiff, you're not getting the best out of the rod. It's you know, it's it's not you, it's not the rod. It's just you're not compatible. Wow! <laughs> yeah, that's going back a few years, isn't it? <laughs> I had a conflex with a butt shot, but it was like a boom angle, and to be perfectly honest, I couldn't, it was, it was too strong for me. I couldn't compress the kit. Yeah, that's what that Brighton cast is about, is yeah. losing the tip straight away. Because if you're here, by the time you've lost the tip, yeah. you're you're part way there already, yeah. and you're not getting the best out of the rod itself. Yeah. And uh, just that little change makes such a difference. Yeah, does, yeah. You know, you've got extra movement in the rod, both butt and tip. You've got more compression going into it with no no extra effort. It, you know, it's that's what it's about is fishing within your limits as yeah, well. Right. So if you're straining to cast every time, you're going to do yourself damage. Yeah. You know, and um, and you can't if you yeah if you just hit everything as hard as you possibly can. That's when stuff goes wrong as well. But uh, that was lovely. No, lovely. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Cheers. Pendulum car. Right. Get. We then had several goes trying to get Tony um, on film in a high speed slow motion clip. We managed it in the end. Reliving his past, multiplier, pendulum casting. He's still got it though, hasn't he? Right, Brian's going to show us how to do it. Yeah, got that. Oh, anyway. A lot of the rings, if you look at some of the um, UK, multi uh, UK standard continental rods, they've got a different um, feet on the eyes. If you watch where they actually guide the line through it, so right, it takes okay. it out. It's, we've got a load of them over there. You have a look at it. it, it you can really see a bit. I've been, we've been using fixed balls on my, um, on my Ziplex and that's multiplied around too, so don't yeah. ever worry about that. Go on, I've got it. Hang on, we under? Oh, no, we're not under. <laughs> it's good wherever. 
There we go. Go on, you, you hold that bit, I'll do this bit. And just double fly. You can't buy the caps anywhere, you have to go Gemini. Yeah. But they're real, I just. Just so easy to put on and off. Right. Well, I'll be tighten up. Don't want a spool slipping when you're casting. No. That'll hurt your finger. Sorry. <laughs> so if you pop out what you normally do, and we can go from there. Why don't you ground that? Fish on. <laughs> it is incredible, isn't it? It's uh, interesting how they aren't round as well. It's just where the, the bigger tides come in, deposit all the stones wherever it so likes. How, how, it? Do you, how do you know how far it goes? Is it now turns on the reel? Or? Yeah, well, they, they say you can judge it like that. I'm not entirely convinced because the, the more line you put on the spool, yeah, yeah. it's not taking so much space, is it? Yeah. Distance wise. Um, Unless you do it over a field, it's guesswork, to be honest. But you, you can, I can gauge a rough idea. Okay. I can gauge a rough idea. Right, if you get yourself ready as if you were going to cast, we're going to tweak a few things if you're up for it. Yep. Excellent. Go ahead. I didn't bring it with me. Yeah. Right, so the first thing we're going to tweak is we're just going to swing that lead out, in, and drop it on the floor. Right. So it's inside. So then we're going to do that and if you notice the rod tip yeah it's already bending yeah. before you move it yeah so we're taking the tip out the second you start moving that that rod okay it's going to start to bend because the, the lead's tight to it right all right and then you're moving that tip the furthest possible distance you can so if you're starting where you were just now yeah you were starting there and your release point's there so it's about 42 43 degrees yeah you've now increased that dramatically right and then that hand's going to go up because that's your pulling hand we're going to take the bend out your elbow and what that will do that will if you keep that shape in your in, in your arm there it will push your elbow your shoulder into the play and that's extra body weight going into it okay yeah so we that get that rod really it will do but you'll get used to it so nice and low nice and low and then the last bit looking that way looking where you want to go so whenever you're ready so if you can get that tip down nice and low that's it, lovely. That's gone further. And I didn't bother looking that way, I was looking at that. All oh, right, okay. So what you're doing, you're moving the rod tip as far as it can. Yeah. Because the lead's inside it and yeah. the line's tight, you're starting that compression the second you start moving the rod. So it's compressing, it's getting the tip out of the way. The tip's there for bite detection. Where you want it moving is down in the guts so you want that center portion of the rod bending and by doing that you're you're trans you're moving stuff forward starting to get that rod compressed goes out further no extra effort needed I can feel that in my fingers too. absolutely finger stall is is a I good can move feel that yeah whereas i've never felt that no before. there's that extra pressure that you're putting on it because i thought why does everybody wear finger guards yeah <laughs> yeah now you know <laughs> now i know yeah but that that's just put some distance on what you were doing Amazing. How far do you reckon that was ish? To be honest, I was looking at you rather, no, so I didn't, oh yeah, I didn't look out. Let's put another one out. What I'll do is stand over there, just yeah. behind you, because I can see the lead trajectory from there. But don't, I also find I struggle to know when to release as well. It's one of those things, you, if you do practice, you'll get it. You know, it, it, generally speaking, it's just as it comes past, for a right-hander, just as it comes past your right ear, Right. But it's that moment, you know, um, you will feel the right one. You literally will feel the difference when it goes right. And that distance to drop? Or is it... I would say it's how you feel comfortable with, yeah. What you've got to bear in mind is, how long is my trace 
because you need at least the length of a trace and a bit because you don't want the iron work going up into the top yeah, eye. Yeah, yeah. So um, for me, that would be about spot on. Yeah. I would, if I'm doing that cast, that's the sort of distance I would use, but play around with it a little bit. Okay. So, so you're comfortable. Yeah, cool. So, and if you're using clip down rigs, rather than swing it and drop it, pop it round. So if you walk forward a little bit, don't go down the slope. Keep the tension on the rod, drop it down, and walk back into position, keeping it tight all the time. Right. And all the pit, all the all the um, clips stay in place. Right, got you. All right. So that rod tip, right down as low as you can go, scraping the. That's beautiful. That's nice. Right, I'm gonna try and watch the lead this time. That's got to be pushing 90. Okay. I saw that all the way. You, you see where there's a change in the colour? Yeah. It's gone beyond that. Okay. Happy days. It's certainly better than when I was the first one. That's the second gun. <laughs> and that's, that's what it's doing, is just putting more compression in the rod for the same amount of effort. And if you go through, I always look at the, the essentially four types of cast. So you've got uh, overhead thump, which is where we started. Yeah. This is called the Brighton cast. Yeah. Next stage really for a lot of people to get more compression in is off the ground. So the lead's over that way and you bring it around your body and over. And then after that, you're, you're into pendulum casting. But every, every time I do any casting with people, it comes with that. Don't forget, you can catch fish 20, 30 yards out, if not closer. And working with kids has really drum, drummed that home to me. Um, we found that the youth group I've got at the moment, I've got nobody that can cast outside 50 yards. We've had 21 different species in a few years. Oh my God. You know, that's just in Hastings. And it's, yeah, it's, it really has drummed it home to me how ridiculously close some decent fish can be. But that's diamond. That's a good 90 yards, I reckon. That's a good start on a 10, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Good man, thanks, Brian. Absolute pleasure. Uh, it's got topic, you. Yeah. It's a topic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know what you do, Lee. Uh, no, don't. you don't. I'll send it to you. I was going to say, you need to hold it. I've got you. Got to send it. <laughs> no, you don't need to hold it. No, we sold that. No. That's why I brought that bag up. Yeah. <laughs> well, the uh, the open day is going well. Um, Tony's in full sail mode. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to uh, going to leave you guys while they're ahead. Already done. Uh, yeah. Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed it. It was, it was an interesting day. Uh, it's going to be going on for a few more hours. Um, yeah. Catch you on the next one. Go! Go! Now!